All right, guys, so I think I got a good one here. I think I got a good idea going on. This is my new canoe, 12 foot. Uh, the place that I duck hunt up here in Alaska this year, we had very little water and there's just no grass to stick up to allow me to be able to pull this thing in and sit in the grass in the water and be concealed. So I'm trying to figure out a way to actually put a blind on this thing. And of course, you know me, I'm trying to do it on the cheap. So I switched from burlap. I had burlap, but whenever burlap hits water, of course it soaks it up. And that's fine on the Gulf of Mexico like I was, but up here in Alaska, whenever something gets wet, it's not very long before it freezes. So I changed to this uh, 12 foot, 50 inches wide, 54 inches wide, this Max 5 material. Uh, it's like a frog cog material. It does soak up a little bit of water, but it, it dries and sheds it off really quickly. And I've already tested if I cover my kayak in it out there in the place that I'm hunting, it does not affect the ducks. Um, if I'm not covered up, they can see the outline of my kayak and it immediately flares them off. So I got to do something to be able to use my kayak unless I want to get out and use a ground blind or something like that. However, where I'm at, uh, if you stand in one place in the grass, after two or three minutes, you're six inches in the water. So it is grass and it's firm enough to walk on, but it is definitely in water as well. So here's what I got. Uh, I got quarter inch bungee cord stuff here. I got white and black because I got black off of the internet on another project where I was uh, using it on my camper, the Alaskan camper, um, just to run some bungee across some area to keep stuff from flying off. So I've got a piece of black and I got a piece of white. And I'm thinking that I can do this quickly by putting clips on either end. And uh, so, the white fiberglass, or it's not fiberglass, it's actually plastic. These reflectors that you can buy from Lowe's for a buck fifty, two bucks, something like that. That's where I'm getting the, uh, the white plastic. This right here is nothing more than uh, white tubing out of the plumbing section. It was, I think, 25 cents for a foot of it. This was like a buck 50 out of the plumbing section. It's just a, a half inch plastic T that you would use for doing uh, like water line in your kitchen. So the idea is whenever I'm paddling, I can just let that off and uh, you know, if I want to leave it there, I can leave it there. Um, I have this bag here that I had from something else. That's what I actually put this material in. Whenever I'm not using it, I just bundle it up in there. So my idea is I can bundle it up in there. I can take these uh, plastic holes out. Stick them right there in the foot of my kayak along with my conduit that I use for my mojos. And then whenever I get to where I'm going, I can pull the whole thing out, snap it into place. And, you know, just looking from this side, the material is going to be on it. And it's going to pop up. Going to do that right there. Just like that. So I'm gonna put you down over here.
if I can keep the camera from falling. There. So, I get to where I'm going. I pull my kayak up to where I want it to be. We're standing there. This is going to be there. Bam. So I pull it out of the bag. And it's basically going to look like this. Of course, I'm going to trim this to fit the side. Uh, so that it doesn't lay down in the, in the water because I want to be able to use it and I don't want to be wet. I may even run some strips, some bungee from here down to my clips that I have along the sides of my kayak just to give us some structure. But I'm going to use zip ties to tie the material to the bungee cord so I'm going to have it stretched Put the material, zip tie it in place, and then whenever I release it, the material will stay where it needs to stay on the bungee. All right? It'll go all the way to the back side. It doesn't quite cover because the material is 12 foot, but the kayak is 12 foot. And of course, the rays is uh, using up extra material. So. Maybe it'll take some of this extra and throw it in the back or something. I don't know. Now, where is that thing right now? But I think this is, I think I'm on to something. Just go with me here. It's all about the placement of the bungees and these plastic poles. I want it to be as close to my head as I can get. You know, I'm going to be in here like this. I've got my rifle next to me. And I want to be able to peek out and see the duck quack, quack, quack on my paw. And then whenever they're landing in front of me, have extra material over here so that I cover that up. Or I may even be able to just set it like this with extra material flopped over so that I can see out just a little bit. So, some way, somehow, I will have it to where, I think I cut these a little bit short. I should have left them another four inches longer. But at buck fifty, I can go get some more if I need to. Have it to where I got my shotgun. It'll be laying right here or right here. Just like normal. I'm normally sitting here and I'm calling. And whenever they come in, I'm getting ready. Calling. Quack, quack, quack. I can't look up at this time because they can see me. Quack, quack, quack. But whenever I have this, I can look up. I can see. Bang. The weight of the material hopefully will keep it down. Right? Hopefully the weight of the material, whenever I throw it down, will keep that down. Bam, bam, bam. I think I got something. I think I'm on to something. I think this will be the most universal and easiest uh, kayak duck blind out there to make. I really do. I mean, we're talking, this stuff is 26 bucks for a roll. So that's 50 bucks for that. Everything else, you're talking less than 10 bucks. I think, I think this is going to actually be, I think it's going to be something big. I think it's going to be universal. I think everybody out there in the YouTube world is going to be able to make it. Bam. Just that quick. I'll have something in here, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just have a piece of material so that whenever I raise it back up, you know, I flop it over. But that's what I'm looking at. Or maybe I will tie them in the center whenever I get the material on it. Maybe it'll, the only reason it's not tied in the middle right now 
is because both parts want to go to one side or the other. So I tie them to the sides. I put the material on it and it may take care of that problem with the weight of the material. But if I can get these to flop over, just like that, boom, boom, boom. I think we got something. Whenever I get it finished, I'll come back.